we developed a model that really works for everyone. The original model was, and I tell that to parents all the time, was a factory model. Blended learning allows us to move away from that one on 30 model. It's differentiating the instruction for all of our kids. The way I think of blended learning is using all kinds of resources to really differentiate and meet kids at their level. The traditional method was to put them all in a box. Blended learning has everybody reaching for the same goals, the same standards, just different ways of getting there. It's a whole shift in education. It's an awesome way to keep the rigor and the standards that we must have and be inclusive of all sorts of students. And one teacher can do it. Blended learning is allowing us to have a teacher to teach ourselves, but also to self-teach ourselves. But what's really happening here? It's difficult to meet the needs of kids that are at completely different levels. And trying to make a lesson that tailors to all of them is, it's really challenging. That's all the review we're gonna do for probability. So with blended learning, I like to think of it as almost like learning is more like a video game, where you unlock a level and you move at your own pace rather than the old traditional, we all go together. Any of you struggled with probability on the last quiz? Students who like maybe needed a little more time to do, to learn something. The more advanced students, they would have to um, go over the same thing days and days. With the blended learning, we're able to go ahead on our own. Do you see how that works? The way it's set up is there's an interface, they have an iPad. Today, for example, about uh, one-fifth of the class was ready to proceed. They know it, they got it, they demonstrated it, boom, we're not going to have them sitting around. They got on the computer, they got on the Moodle platform, and they went on to the assignment. I like that it does let you work at your own pace because uh, I get my work done. I don't want to be sitting there, and it's so, good to have extensions to do after I'm done. How do they characterize themselves? The other students needed some additional support. They watched the video. You can give them the lecture, then they can watch the lecture again and rewind as many times as they need to. And now they're going back to the initial assessment. They're going to fix that, get proficient at that, then they're going to move up to the, the other uh, assignment that everybody else is doing. You can walk into a class and you'll have four, five, six th different things going on in that classroom and the kids are being challenged at their appropriate level and the teacher's becoming a facilitator because the teacher set the infrastructure up you know, for that classroom. It's allowed for, for multiple things. One, for me to just be more knowledgeable of where, where they're coming from, where they're going. I can track um, their progress a lot better than just having one or two data points or just having their reading level. When students leave a classroom, we know exactly where they're at and the next day we can go ahead and start uh, differentiating more and differentiating more. So it gives me a lot more information that allows me to group them and help them really find uh, the correct reading levels for them and make sure that they're doing work that's at their level that's challenging enough with enough supports in, in place. You still need to have student interactions, you still need to have conversations, you still need to bring the whole team together and talk to the whole team. We still read books, we still write essays with pencils and pens, you know, it's a, it's, but it's a mix, so it's variety, and I think that's the, the thing that really engages the kids. It increases their engagement. They love being able to work on the computers. They love being able to access the information at their own level, at their own pace. When they graduate high school, they will have college credit under their belt, and they'll be right. completely familiar and comfortable with the system, uh, because they started in sixth grade doing essentially an online computer course. This is the direction that if they're going to come to Grant Beacon Middle School, we want them to go and be college bound. I want them to be able to compete with any other student in Colorado and have the same uh, opportunities. I mean, the expectation is set high. I'm proud of my students, I'm proud of my teachers, I'm proud of the fact of the work that we have done. I'm proud of a lot of things and just how we were able to bring this together. This is where we're going in life. We're going to be college bound in life.